Hey YouTube world, Sean here. So today I'm going to be doing a video on how to fix a hole in your underbelly when you have to make one. So my backstory to this project is I had a black tank valve that was leaking. I had to access it by cutting a hole in the underbelly in the corrugated plastic to access the seals to replace those. So now that I have this hole in my underbelly, I had to figure out what I needed to do to fix it and to put that uh, piece of corrugated plastic back in place so it wouldn't just fall out again. From all the research that I've done, the best solution that people had come up with was just taping it back in place. Um, and I just didn't feel like that was a sufficient way to do it. So I came up with a solid solution that's going to last for years and years to come. And if you need access back in that one specific hold, you'll also be able to reaccess it without any issues. So without further ado, let's get started on this project. So the parts you're going to need for this project are quarter inch by three quarter inch long bolts, quarter inch by one inch flat washers, quarter inch nuts, a roll of black duct tape, and the three brackets, which I'll tell you where to get those at the end of the video. As far as the tools needed, I'm going to list them in the description of this video below. Okay, to start, so this is the hole that I had to cut uh, in my underbelly for my camper. I was having to replace the uh, seal on my black tank valve. So there's no way to access it um, without some major removal of stuff to get this underbelly um, pulled down. So the easiest way is to just cut a hole. And so that's what it looks like. It's about a one foot hole by one foot hole. Um, which is the reason why I'm making this video today to show you uh, the best way that I've found to put this flat back up into place so it's gonna so it stays um, and it you know keeps unwanted pests and that kind of thing out of that hole but also gives you access in the future if you ever have to access it again so um, first things first we're gonna clean around this I had it masking taped up in the meantime while I was uh, 3D printing my parts out to get this ready to go. So we're gonna wipe this all down, give, us our, give ourselves a clean surface to work from and then start from there. So I'm gonna get that done really quick. Okay, so now that we're done wiping um, down the underbelly and the flap, we're gonna take some black duct tape and I'm just gonna run it along the edges of the actual flap and then the rest of the underbelly, the hole in the underbelly. Um, I'm gonna overlap it just a little bit just so when the flap is sitting flush, it overlaps against the main underbelly portion just to seal it even a little bit better. So let's get that done really quick here. So this is the additional little overhanging piece of tape I left on the flap. So when you seal that up against the underbelly, the rest of the underbelly, it's going to seal up nice and tight. And then when you put the brackets on and bolt it down, it's going to really seal it up nice. So the next step is going to be to install the brackets. The brackets are going to sit on the inside of the underbelly. They actually will sit just like that. But in order to get the hole placement right, we're just going to mark these holes out on the outside drill the holes, and then we'll be able to bolt these brackets on. So that's the next step, so we'll get started on that. Okay, so now that we have all of our holes marked out, we're gonna have to uh, drill them out and by drill them out, I'm actually going to use um, a soldering iron. Just get a soldering iron tip really hot and push it through the plastic. That's gonna actually make a better hole um, than a drill bit because a drill bit would just kind of shred this this plastic. And if it's brittle or if your underbelly is brittle if, 
from just being older, it would destroy that. So um, the soldering iron is going to actually melt through and it's also going to seal off each of these holes too. It'll do a better job. So let's get started with doing that. Okay, so here's the holes that I just made. So the next thing we need to do is mount the brackets on. So we'll get that done. All right, so we got the brackets all mounted right here. All that's left, I put the, nu the nuts on the other side. All that's left is to bolt this flap up into place and make sure it's all sealed off. And we'll be good to go. So let's finish up this project. Okay, so now that we have the flap bolted into place, I went ahead and just trimmed around on some of this extra tape around the bolt holes. Um, I'm gonna run a final strip of tape just around the seam, just to make sure it's fully sealed. Other than that, this project's all uh, knocked out. So if you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. As well, give this video a like or uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out a bunch more videos like this throughout the year now that camping season is in full swing. So stay tuned for those videos. As well, I will put the STL file for 3D printing the bracket in the description of this video. So if you do have a 3D printer, you can go download it, print it out for yourself. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, if you don't have a 3D printer, get a hold of me on here or on, uh, message me and I'd be more than happy to uh, print out a bracket for you. I'm not sure what the price will be yet, but just get a hold of me and we can figure that out. If you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.